Welcome to CVR English. This is Jyoti. Let's watch Prime Minister Modi live from Jamaica. चुनौतियां हैं हम मिलकर इन चुनौतियों का सामना करने पर सहमत है स्पेस सेक्टर में भी हमें अपना सफल अनुभव खुशी होगी फ्रेंड्स आज की बैठक कई वैश्विक एवं क्षेत्रीय मुद्दों पर भी चर्चा की हम सहमत है कि सभी तनावों और विवादों का समाधान बातचीत के माध्यम से किया जाना चाहिए हम मिलकर वैश्विक शांति और स्थिरता सुनिश्चित करने के लिए अपने प्रयास जारी रखेंगे भारत और जमे का एक मत है कि यूनाइटेड नेशन सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल सहित ट्यूशन में सुधार इन्हें समका साथ मिलकर काम करते रहेंगे फ्रेंड्स भारत और जमैका के बीच भले ही विशाल महासागरों की दूरी हो किंतु हमारे मन हमारी संस्कृति और हमारा इतिहास एक दूसरे से जुड़े हैं लगभग 180 वर्ष पहले भारत से जो लोग जमैका गए थे उन्होंने हमारे पीपल टू पीपल टाइप की मजबूत नींव रखी थी आज जमैका को अपना घर मानने वाले लगभग सत्तर हजार भारतीय मूल के लोग हमारी साझा विरासत का प्रत्यक्ष उदाहरण है उनकी देखरेख के लिए मैं प्रधानमंत्री होलनेस और उनकी सरकार का आभार व्यक्त करता हूं जिस प्रकार भारत से योग बॉलीवुड और फोक म्यूजिक को जमैका ने अपनाया गया है उसी तरह जमैका के रेगे और डांस हॉल भी भारत में पॉपुलर हो रहे हैं आज किए जा रहे कल्चरल एक्सचेंज प्रोग्राम से हमारी आपसी नजदीकियां और बढ़ेगी हमने दिल्ली में जमैका उच्चायोग के सामने सड़क का नाम जमैका मार्ग रखने का निर्णय लिया है यह सड़क भावी पीढ़ियों के लिए हमारी गहरी मित्रता और हमारे सहयोग का मार्ग प्रशस्त करेगी क्रिकेट प्रेमी देशों के रूप में स्पोर्ट्स हमारे संबंधों में एक बहुत मजबूत और महत्वपूर्ण कनेक्टिंग लिंक रहा है कर्टनरी वॉल्स की लेजेंडरी फास्ट बॉलिंग हो या क्रिस गेल की धुआंधार बल्लेबाजी भारत के लोगों में जमैका के क्रिकेटर्स के लिए विशेष लगाव रहा है हमने स्पोर्ट्स में अपना सहयोग और गहरा करने पर भी विचार विमर्श किया मुझे पूरा विश्वास है कि आज की चर्चाओं से निकले आउटकम्स हमारे संबंधों को उसेन बोल्ट से भी तेज गति देंगे और हम निरंतर नई ऊंचाइयां छूते रहेंगे एक्सलेंसी एक बार फिर आपका और आपके डेलीशन का भारत में बहुत बहुत स्वागत है बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू सर मे आई नाउ रिक्वेस्ट हिज एक्सलेंसी डॉक्टर द मोस्ट ऑनरेबल एंड्रू हॉलनेस ओ एन पी सी एम पी प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ जमेगा टू गिव हिज रिमार्क्स to the media your excellency narendra modi prime minister of india members of the media distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen namaskar let me begin by thanking the government of india for the warm welcome and the hospitality extended to me and my delegation on this my first visit to india Jamaica values the strong fraternal ties with India since our independence. Our relationship however predates the formal establishment of diplomatic ties. As Indian migrants came to Jamaica 
in the 1800s at a crucial juncture in the economic history of Jamaica. Almost two centuries now, Indians have made their mark in Jamaica, contributing to our country's development in various spheres, including health, education, information technology, and business. Their contribution to Jamaica's rich cultural heritage is also evident in our cuisine, music, and dance. In recognition of this, we celebrate Indian Heritage Day annually on the 10th of May to commemorate the arrival of the first Indians in 1845. Our strong people-to-people -people exchanges over the decades form the backdrop for our bilateral engagement today. Having had very fruitful talks with Prime Minister Modi, I can say with confidence that today heralds a new phase in Jamaica-India bilateral relations. Our discussions touched a range of issues of mutual interest, including health, agriculture, digital transformation, film, education, sports, tourism, and many other subjects. While we have largely recovered from the COVID-19 pandemic, I must convey on behalf of the government and people of Jamaica our sincere gratitude to the government and people of India for the tremendous support provided to us during our time of need as part of your vaccine friendship scheme. We are immensely grateful that we could count on India as a true friend and partner during those difficult times. As Jamaica continues its development journey, we must urgently build our human capital to ensure that we can thrive and succeed in a technology-driven world. We are therefore grateful for the scholarships and high-quality training provided by the Government of India under the ITEC program, from which hundreds of Jamaica nationals have benefited over the years. As India positions itself as the knowledge capital of the world, we recognize the remarkable strides made by your government in STEM education and digitalization. We therefore look forward to learn from India as a beacon of technological advancement in the global south as the government of Jamaica seeks to equip itself and its people with the relevant skills to navigate this changing and dynamic world. We are working to take the same innovative approach to development of our agricultural sector as we seek to work with India to share knowledge and best practices in critical areas such as mechanization, affordable irrigation, advanced seed technologies, and expertise in crop development, agro-processing, as well as investments uh, and facilitation for credit support. Uh, in light of my administration's effort to enhance the safety and security of our citizens with a focus on strengthening the national security infrastructure and enhancing border security, we see India, a global leader in technology-driven security solutions, as a natural ally. As the world's fastest growing economy, energy security is of paramount importance to India. And likewise, as a small developing state, which 
are you know, susceptible to external shocks, Jamaica's development is inextricably connected to its energy security. Our shared interests premised on our respective national targets to diversify our energy mix by 2030 provide a platform for deeper cooperation in this sphere. I am therefore pleased to announce Jamaica's intention to join the Global Biofuels Alliance pioneered by the Government of India. Jamaica is uniquely vulnerable to the impacts of climate change and therefore regards any effort to deal with this existential threat as worthy of support and commendation. For this reason, Jamaica is proud to have been invited by Prime Minister Modi to uh, be a founding member of the Infrastructure for Island Resilient States, the IRIS, and the Coalition for Disaster Res Resilient Infrastructure, the CDRI. We are deeply appreciative of India's global advocacy and leadership on matters affecting developing countries. Prime Minister, you can rely on Jamaica's continued support and active engagement on these initiatives, as well as in the context of the in International Solar Alliance. Ladies and gentlemen, Jamaica-India relations are buttressed by our shared passion for sports, in particular the game of cricket. We commend India as a leading innovator in the sport and we appreciate all that India has done to support the ongoing development of cricket uh, in uh, CARICOM and in Jamaica in particular. Of course, Jamaica's excellence in the track and field and uh, India's excellence and prowess in cricket are winning combinations and uh, provide tremendous opportunities for mutual exchange and cooperation. So on that note, I congratulate India on its victory in the 2024 Men's T20 World Cup held in the West Indies in June and its recent gold medal sweep in the 45th FIDE Chess Olympiad last month. In our meeting, we also discussed collaboration in the creative industries. Jamaica recently established a film fund which signals the government's intent to support filmmakers in Jamaica. We acknowledge the tremendous success of Bollywood and we look forward to collaboration between the Indian film industry and hundreds of filmmakers in Jamaica. Tourism offers additional avenues for enhancement of the people-to-people -people connections with India identified as a key source market for Jamaica. With our picturesque landscape, pristine beaches and vibrant culture, Jamaica offers the perfect retreat for the discerning Indian traveler seeking adventure and diverse experiences. I believe that our historical connections provide the scope for greater engagement between our peoples in this area. Furthermore, Jamaica's strategic geographical location presents an ideal foundation for collaboration with India's world-class expertise in healthcare and cutting-edge health technology. This partnership holds immense potential for the development of a thriving medical tourism sector. Congratulations to the Government of India on the construction of a new parliament building which reflects the aspirations and dreams of 1.4 billion Indians. And it is quite fitting for the world's largest democracy. As the government of India prepares to replicate this uh, 
as the government of Jamaica prepares to replicate this remarkable feat, I am looking forward to the opportunity to tour the new home of India's legislature during my visit. As strong democracies, our engagement at the regional and multilateral levels has also been robust, including with, within the context of the Caribbean community and within multilateral spheres, India's leadership is always present. We share views on the reform of the United Nations, in particular the Security Council, to ensure that it is, its composition is reflective of the current balance of power and the emergence of new leaders like India. India's belief in multilateral, multilateralism that works for all countries was reaffirmed in its Voice of the Global South series of summits during India's presidency of the G20. The mantra, one earth, one family, one future, and the inclusive language of the Global South continues to resonate widely. We're confident that India will continue to be a voice of reason as it seeks to fulfill its mission of a more equitable, prosperous, and peaceful world. It is within this context that I am pleased to confirm that Jamaica will support India's candidature for the UN Security Council for the period 2028 to 2029. Ladies and gentlemen, my visit to India has given me a renewed appreciation of the strength, resilience, and generosity of the Indian people. I look forward to deepening our partnership and strengthening our cooperation in the years ahead. I thank you. Thank you, sir. With this, we conclude the press statements. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated as the two Prime Ministers exit the room. तो भारत और जमैका के बीच आज कई महत्वपूर्ण क्षेत्रों को लेकर के एमओयू पर हस्ताक्षर किए गए आयोग के सामने सड़क का नाम जमैका मार्ग रखने का निर्णय लिया है यह सड़क भावी पीढ़ियों के लिए आज किए जा रहे कल्चरल एक्सचेंज प्रोग्राम से हमारी आपसी नजदीकियां 